facing overwhelming enemy numbers and with no hope for help, Colonel William Barrett Travis took out his sword and drew a line in the sand before his battle-weary men. In a voice trembling with emotion, he described the hopelessness of their plight and said, Those prepared to give their lives in freedom's cause, come over to me. Without hesitation, all but one man crossed the line. Even Colonel James Bowie, stricken with pneumonia, asked that his cot be carried over. From the American Revolution to the Texas War for Independence, it's always been the ordinary citizens who've stepped forward to defeat tyrants. George Washington was just a Virginia farmer before he stepped up to take on the forces of tyrant King George. The men who commanded his ragtag army of colonists were likewise ordinary folks who set aside their personal goals to do what had to be done. And the brave men of the Alamo and the army led by Sam Houston were people like you and me, just regular folks who realized what had to be done and stepped up to the task. Today Texas faces another tyrant whose actions and connections threaten the freedoms that the brave men of Alamo died to deliver. It's time that we ordinary Texans step up to defeat a new face of tyranny, House Speaker Joe Strauss. We elected Ted Cruz despite heavy opposition from the Texas GOP establishment. We blocked walked. We worked the polls. We put up the yard signs. We chose principle and performance over party rhetoric and we got the job done. Well, it's time again for us to take on the party establishment. And like Colonel Travis, it's time for each of us to draw a line in the sand at the feet of each of our Texas state reps. Those prepared to stand on conservative and constitutional principles cross the line and vote against Joe Strauss for House Speaker. We will honor your courage and support you in the weeks and the years ahead. But those of you who do not cross the line should know this. We will call you out for the moral cowards you are. We will find and support more Ted Cruz's in each of our state districts. We will find honorable men like the heroes of the Alamo. We will block walk for them. We will work the polls for them. We will put up the yard signs for them. And we will make sure that this is your last term in office. So help us God. <laughs>